Alright, hey guys, this is DJ Yeo, that's Y-I-Y-O, DJ Yeo, and what I'm going to be showing you today is a small tutorial on the basics and fundamentals of Virtual DJ. Um, keep in mind that you can use this for any Virtual DJ program, whether it's Virtual DJ Pro, Virtual DJ Pro 4, Pro 7, um, D Virtual DJ Home, D Virtual DJ Basic. It's all pretty much the same, um, in my opinion, the only difference is that, well... Uh, you could download some samplers and effects from the website for free but this is going to be a small walkthrough on how to do it so to start off this right here on the upper left side is your turntable this is going to be deck number one okay so this right here this is your actual turntable and um, these is your Q button pause play sync uh, this is your tempo or your pitch, whatever you prefer to call it, and that base, uh, that basically changes how fast or slow the song goes, and um, yeah. So, and then this is gonna be for looping. I will try to go more into depth on this later on once I explain to you what everything does. And then this is for effects. This is your little effects board, your little sampler board. This is where the um. The, up here is going to say the artist's name and then the song and then right here you're going to have like a little overview of how the song looks same on this deck oh and uh, over here is going to say the BPMs which is beats per minute which means how fast your song is going and these are your hot cues so you could you can make up to three cues at one time on a song now this is your mixer what this is this basically this is how you're going to control the turntables and this is gonna be um I'm not exactly sure because I'm not sure about all the technical names and all that but this is the I call it the piffle I'm not sure what the actual name is or if they if it's an abbreviation but I just I uh, like to call this the piffle and what that means is that it's gonna highlight highlight a song on either deck one or deck two for example this is deck one this is deck two it would highlight the song on deck one and that means that I would be able to hear it through my headphones now if I was to do it on this one the song on deck two, I would be able to hear, uh, would be highlighted, and I would be able to hear it through my headphones. Um, this is your master, which means it's basically your master volume, and then this is your cue, and what that means is how much of a song you're gonna hear. If you bring it all the way to the right, that means that you're gonna hear the song which is um, not playing. The more you bring it to the left, the more that it kind of like mixes in a song. It mixes in the song that you're that's already playing, so you can kind of hear what they would sound like together. And um, these are basically just your uh, volumes, which is your lows, which is basically your bass, your mids, and your highs. And uh, this is your volume for each deck, for each specific deck. And this is your crossfader. All right, now this is your browser, and what this basically means, you get to search for all your songs on here. Now over here these are all pretty much like playlists or places where you might have music and all you pretty much have to do is just click on music and all your music will pop up any music that you have on uh, on your <clears throat> on your computer um, now as you can tell mine's not that organized because this is from a older hard drive that I had it's not my most updated one and um yeah, so you can see I could have all my. I have a couple albums on here. I have some industry electro. I have some banging electro, some house, uh, the electronic dance top 20 of August, 90s, more electro, hip hop, some of the 2009s hits, some house, and then I have my actual music folder, which is where I have all my music. Um, I don't have that much in English, which kind of sucks. It's mostly some mixtapes that I had downloaded, and then um, Spanish. I have a lot of Spanish. Um, which is basically everything that's all my music and albums all in folders and when you want to close it up you just click on it once or twice and um, so that's pretty much the fundamentals now this right here this is whatever folder you clicked on um, the songs are gonna pop up right here for example my most played are some of these as you can see these are my most played now I go to recently added these are all the ones that I recently added 
you guys get me. It's pretty much self-explanatory, compatible songs. As you can tell, there's nothing. I wouldn't really trust this, and I'm going to explain to you why in a moment. And what this happens is that when you put a song on either deck, it finds a song with the same beats per minute. And I would not trust that because the song might be a completely different genre. Uh, it's happened to me before, trust me. And uh, these are your movies for when you want to do video mixing. For example, video, like these are all videos. You could, you could also play them as just an MP3. And this is an auto mixer. This, what it does is that it basically mixes the songs for you. Now, I personally do not like to use this because it's a computer. It mixes the beats together, but doesn't analyze what the finished product is going to look like, so it could actually sound like shit like when it's mixing. So, um, I only like to use this on rare on, on the rarest of occasions have I used it, which would probably be um, if I'm eating or if I have to run to the bathroom or something, because I don't even think I use it for that, but... On the rarest of occasions, I do I ever use this because, like I said, the finished product does not sound that good. But, yeah. So, I'm going to teach you how to put a song on both decks. And, let's say I want some English music. So. Um, I think that little you know, will be fine. So, all I do is click on the folder and the song will pop up. I click on the, on the song and I drag it up to either deck, it doesn't matter. I just drop it on the deck. Um, this I'm going to close because that's not relevant to this video. This is only for the fundamentals, which means the most basic. And uh, as I said, you know, name, um, name of artist, name of song, beats per minute, and a basic overview of the song. Now, um, these are your samplers. And what these do, um, for example, it's a siren, a small saxo beat. Alright, and then effects is basically like, uh, that you have to do a backspin, a beat grid, which is more like for, I actually wouldn't use this at all because those are not accurate, these are not accurate beats. Uh, a breaking which is a uh, kind of like when it's a it's a turntable effect, a distorter, a phaser, um, that basically just changes how it sounds. And this is to record your mix. So you just press record audio and start recording, and it'll record whatever mix or you know whatever you're trying to do. But it won't do an actual video screen, just the audio. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press play. You could tell how my game moved. It was even like this one, and now it's like this. And what that does, it, um, the computer automatically tries to like make it at an equal volume, which is 0, 0.0 dB, and that makes it like kind of even. So um, you don't actually need to move this. The computer will kind of automatically do it itself, so that all sounds sound the same. So now let's say I want to mix another song in, right? This is what I do. Let's say I want to do a little Sack Noel, Lots of People, which is a very good song, I recommend it. What I'm going to do, what I like to do is I'm, I like to move the crossfader all the way to the deck which is playing. And then I'll just play the song. See, the thing is, I, I know the song and I've heard it a lot, so I pretty much know how it sounds. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to loop it, or actually, yeah, I'm just going to loop it, which uh, basically means it's going to be the same beat over and over and over. So let's get to a good part, should be right about the middle, and then I just press in when I want it to start, and then I just press out when I want it to end. And when the shift, what it, that does, it kind of moves it, in case you were like a tiny bit off or whatever, you can move that and it'll try to fix it. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start to loop this beat. Look, oh, so anyway, you see how the red is highlighted? Watch, I'm going to change the purple to blue, and all the blue is on top. It's highlighted. So, I'm going to try to loop it starting now. 
And you see how that doesn't sound that good, so I'm gonna press 8. And you see how that sounds perfect? You just gotta find the perfect loop. And then, um, you can just start to... You press sync. So since this is the song that it's already playing, uh, I'm gonna press sync on the right turntable. And that syncs it to the song that's already playing. And then I'm just gonna slowly move the crossfader. Uh, to about the middle. And then you might want to play a little bit with the... Things over here and that kind of... And you can just kind of move it all the way over. And then when you want to exit the loop, all you do is press out. And the loop is over. So, um, this is a very basic video on how to mix. Uh, later on, I will upload some videos on how to actually mix with an actual DJ console and software controller. And pretty much that's about it for now. Just uh, I try to show you guys the fundamentals. And in case this video is not working for you, in case your audio is not playing, I should have said this in the beginning, and I'm sorry for not saying it. But uh, all you gotta do is you gotta go to configurations. And this is basically what it should look like. None, single output, simple. Because if it has something like these, it's going to sound kind of messed up. It's not Well, it's not going to sound at all. So all you got to do is just uh, do it how I told you, which is none, single output, simple. And I would actually make uh, videos later on explaining how to actually connect things to your computer. So all you got to do is exit out. And uh, just... Watch on, keep on watching on my YouTube channel. I'm gonna upload more. Vi I'm going to attempt to upload more videos, which would be uh, tutorials, walkthroughs, simple stuff like that, and starting from the most basic to the most, um, like from the most simple to the most uh, difficult of things. So I hope you ha you enjoyed yourself and that you were able to do it. And if not.